all-new 2018 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, starting at 23295. Lease an all-new Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross for as low as $189 a month. Well, there's today's story. Clemson four runs on seven hits. The Deacons three runs on five hits as we hit the bottom of the ninth inning and the Tigers get their closer out there. Riley Gilliam, 5'10 junior out of Kennesaw, Georgia. Gilliam with five saves on the year and he will make his 15th relief appearance as he tries to close out the Deeks here this afternoon. You don't see a lot of 5'10 right-handers that come in anywhere, but particularly in the closing role. He's a hard thrower. He's going to go 90 to 93 with a very, very good curveball. What the strategy has to be to try to lay off the breaking ball and see if you can get him to get something in your zone with the fastball. 11 walks in 16 innings, so command can be an issue for him at times. He will face the heart of the Deacon order, ILO Seymour Lanzilli, hitters 3, 4, and 5. Seymour had a solo home run for the Deacons back in the fourth inning. It's been a tough day today for third baseman Johnny Aiello at the plate. He has struck out all three times he's been at the plate. And five times for the weekend. Comes up with a smile on his face, trying to forget <laughs> it, put it all behind him. Got to be your game plan. None of it matters if you do something really good right here. He leads Wake Forest with seven home runs and 33 runs driven in. Looks at ball one. And started him off with a nasty breaking ball. Not exactly what you expect. That's lifted, but not very deep. Teodosio out there to make the play. One down. How many sky balls have we seen from both teams here today? There have been a bunch. Bunch of easy outs. Wake now Forest. Seymour, pardon me, Larry, one for three. That one was a homer back in the fourth inning. Deacons would take one here. Needing a run to keep this one going. Yeah, all the, all the Wake Forest offense concentrated into the two innings, the third and the fourth, and a lot of easy outs be, besides that. Seymour today has also struck out and popped out. Inside, 96 miles an hour, ball one. That's a little slow roller. Green's gobbled him up all day. Does that one. Two down. Wake down to its last out. And here's Lanzilli, who homered yesterday. One for three today. Now that pitch just overpowered Seymour a little bit. A look at some of the other umpires that are in the ballpark today. <laughs> they thought that pitch to Seymour was a strike. There's about eight. Now. Yeah. About 2,000 umpires in attendance today. Yeah, 1,864 in the ballpark today, and 1,200 or so yesterday. Tomorrow should be a good one. Ball one. That's a little low with a fastball. Unless you're wearing orange. <laughs> Lanzilli's grounded out, singled, and struck out today. There's a strike perfectly located, one and one. That sails high at 96 miles an hour. The Deacons and the Tigers here, bottom of the ninth. Clemson trying to win the series with one more out, one more game to go tomorrow. That is out of play, and the Deacons down to their final strike. Here at home at the David F. Couch Ballpark, where we'll be together again tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern time. Right after lunch, come, come watch game number three. Good plan. The 2-2. Two -two. Full count. Michael Ludwig for the Deacons would be next. He is 0 for 3 today. 
But the Tigers focusing on Chris Lanzilli. You know they'd love to get this right-right matchup done. Gilliam is ready, and here's the payoff. Got him with high heat. Climbed the ladder with a fastball at 95 miles an hour. And the Tigers win another close game, Larry, here in Winston. Well, the old saying, close doesn't mean anything except, well, you know the rest of it for Wake Forest. But Clemson comes in, and again, the bullpen does a very good job for them. A veteran club that does just enough to win. They do it at the right times. That's why they're such a very, very good baseball team. Clemson four runs on seven hits, no errors. Wake Forest three runs on five hits and no errors. Clemson wins last night 7-5. Winning again today with game three. Again here tomorrow between these two really good Atlantic Division ACC teams. So... For Larry Sorensen, I'm Stan Cotton saying so long from Winston-Salem, North Carolina.